We have a new champion, my friend. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is another magical day at Walt Disney World, and in my hand is the new style of resort refillable mug at Disney. You may recall that for many years, the only style of resort refillable mug were those plastic ones, and I like the plastic ones. I do, I feel like it's kind of reminiscent of years past, but this, this, is the future. This is the Magic in the Air Skyliner Resort Refillable Mug. It, instead of costing $20 for the Resort Refillable Mug for two weeks or the length of your stay, it costs $30. Now it is $10 more, but if you're using the Disney Dining Plan and you get one of those plastic mugs included with your dining plan, then you get one of these for an additional $10. You don't have to pay $30, you just have an additional 10 and you can get one of these metal ones. Now besides the obvious look and feel, why would you want to upgrade the plastic mug to the new metal mug? One of the first reasons that I can think of is the opening style right there. I see a little click open close right there. That's super convenient, especially if you don't like doing the, uh, the turn style top with those plastic mugs. The second reason, in my opinion, is the seal proofing. Now, I got plants right here which I'm watering just for demonstration purposes, but look, open right there. I'm going to close it. Still comes out, but not as much. Just dripping, just dripping there, feeding the plants. So that's a little bit better than what we see with those plastic mugs. The next big reason that I would recommend the metal ones over the plastic ones, no handles. If having the handles is really, really helpful. I'll say that right off the bat. I actually prefer the handles for me, just because I like having it you know, hooked on something. I can hook it on my backpack with a carabiner. But let's say you have a stroller or a wheelchair and you can't put it in the cup holder with a handle. Maybe this is better. Another big advantage is no matter how hot or cold the beverage is, it will maintain that temperature for a long period of time. I have tried this with hot cocoa, with ice beverages. It keeps cold beverages cold for I think four hours and hot beverages hot for I think it's 12 hours, something like that. But it's an extremely long period of time that your beverage stays the appropriate temperature. With the plastic mugs, they don't last nearly that long. Now, like the plastic mugs, the metal mugs can be filled up at any of the Disney resorts. You do not just have to fill it up at the resort you're staying at, any of them except the mug. Now, one thing I've noticed about refilling your resort refillable mug is that not all resorts are the same. Some of the resorts have these standard refill stations where you put your mug down under one of the spouts and you get Coke or Sprite or whatever it is. But other resorts, especially the newer ones or ones that have been recently refurbished, have special freestyle Coke machines. Now the freestyle machines are the ones that can add different flavors to different sodas. And the newest one here at Disney's Riviera Resort has all sorts of different flavors and is all electronic. This is really interesting. As I was walking by here, the event room that we actually were in during the opening of the Riviera, where we actually saw some of the uh, media preview items, is open again for those pool time activities that they can't have outside because it is raining outside. Sure enough, here we are at that brand new freestyle machine here at the Riviera. And what we do is we take one of the active mugs, we put it right there at the base, it's gotta be kind of in the center there, and then we create our own soda. Now there are tons of choices, but you can hit maybe your favorite like Barks Root Beer, love that one, and you can add different flavors to it. You see the electronic version lets you add it right there. You can mix and match your favorites, but even on something as classic as Coca-Cola, look at all these options here. Lime, orange vanilla, vanilla, cherry, cherry vanilla, lemon, raspberry, and more. A lot of different options for those freestyle machines. One of my favorites is to go for the vitamin water or the Dasani flavored water. I'm gonna try Dasani at the moment and try one of these flavors. I think I'm gonna try peach right now. You see it switches over. There we are, touch right there. It fills up. You can see my refills are available until the 7th. Of all the ones I've tried, believe it or not, that Dasani uh, peach, that was, that was not my favorite. Don't recommend that one, but a lot of options. Now, at the time of filming, a soda at Walt Disney World costs $4.22. Now, let's just round down for the sake of this video to $4.00 per soda. How many sodas do you have to buy to make the refillable mug worth it? Well, for the plastic mug, it's five sodas. More than five sodas, you've made your money back. But for the metal one here, these new ones, it would take more than seven and a half, let's just call it eight sodas in order to make up the money. So it really comes down to you. Are you going to want maybe a coffee or soda first thing in the morning or mid-afternoon break or perhaps at night? Don't forget, these mugs only work at the Disney resorts, not at the parks. It's very, very important to remember, if you can see yourself getting more than five for the plastic or eight for the metal, definitely 
definitely get the resort refillable mug. Not only do you have more options, but it's gonna save you money. Now with all of that being said, there are some who may not find themselves going to the Disney resorts as often as others. That's okay, it's a personal preference, it's a way of experiencing Disney, but if that's you, I can't recommend the mug. Just think about those numbers. How often are you gonna want a soda or a coffee or drink at the resort? Now for some FAQs about the mugs. What kind of drinks are not included? Yes, those freestyle machines are included, or the standard soda machines that you can find at other resorts, those are included. Drinks like maybe fresh orange juice, apple juice, or margaritas, slushies, those kind of drinks, those wouldn't be included. Those are not. It's just the sodas and teas and coffees, those are. Just try one of my new favorites from the freestyle machines, the vanilla flavor. Barks Cream Soda. Oh my gosh. Tried another flavor here. Powerade Zero Sugar Strawberry. Not bad. Not bad at all. The problem is I had cream soda prior to it, so you had the sugar, then the no sugar. I wouldn't recommend that, but Powerade Zero Sugar Strawberry. Very good. Now, of course, when it gets colder, hot chocolate is included with these mugs. Sometimes they have the uh, dispensers. Other times, you use the packets. Here at the Riviera, they have the hot chocolate that you can mix with hot water, which is what I'm going to do right now. But only fill it up to about halfway with the hot water and the rest is milk. Ready for Michael's secret recipe for those hot cocoa packets? Two packets of the hot cocoa mix, the rich chocolate mix, half of the cup filled with the hot water, the other half filled with 2% or whole milk, and to top it all off, if you have a sweet tooth like me, two packets of sweet and low. Perfect, it's not too, too hot where you can't drink it right away, but just warm enough to warm you up on a cold day. I already know what you're thinking, Michael, adding sweet and low packets to hot cocoa mix, really? Yeah, I know, this is a sweet tooth. It's one of my one of my things. Now, the resort refillable mugs work at all of the 25, 30 plus Disney resorts around property, but there are two resorts that are on the boat route here that where they don't work. Swan and Dolphin, as you would expect. It would be fantastic if those cups worked here at the fountain. That would be my ultimate favorite. Just refill, oh, somebody's gonna refill this Sunday right here from the fountain. That That's what we need. <laughs> Not right now, but one day. Even though we can't get it in the resort refillable mug, it is time to give the fountain here at the Dolphin its final test, its final test to see if it is truly the best ice cream slash sundae slash ice cream style treat at Walt Disney World. We got chocolate sundae here with fudge sauce and chocolate chips. The ultimate chocolate lover's paradise right here. Let's dig in, we're gonna let you know what we think. Wow, Dutch chocolate ice cream, chocolate chips, and chocolate fudge sauce from the fountain. As far as just standard ice cream goes at Walt Disney World, I'm pretty sure I can say it without trying, I guess a few. There are a couple here and there I haven't tried, but I think this is the best. I, I, I'm sorry, I know, I, I think this is the best. Ample Hill still has something. I'm not denying that. It's that. This is Dutch chocolate, like, supreme. It's really deep chocolate. If you love it, you are going to love this one. I think I'm about to give it, in total, to the fountain here with that um, milkshake we had last time and the chocolate ice cream here. I'm blown away, blown away entirely. David, what do you think? It's definitely very good. Top three for sure. I don't know about beating Ample Hills here, but I definitely enjoy the flavor, fantastic flavor. And that milkshake was amazing as well. So I think David and I are both in agreement that it's delicious. David feels Ample Hills is just a little bit better. I think the fountain may have it, but it's personal taste, no doubt about it. You can't lose at either one. We totally agree on that. So as you can see, there is a lot to the refillable mugs at Walt Disney World, and these metal ones, in my opinion, are fantastic, especially if you're gonna have a lot of soda or refill many, many times while you're here on vacation. I hope you found this video helpful and informative as you are thinking about refillable mugs at Walt Disney World. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Do you get one every time or every other time? Or do you have you never gotten one before? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.